A simple ClickUp tour. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can use ClickUp for project management or task management. So ClickUp is a project management software that you can get started with for free. It's going to cost you $0 if you can go with the uh, free plan. And then after that, you can always level up. I'm currently signed into my free account and I want to show you the platform itself. So I want to show you the features, how it works, where you need to go in order to do what and all of that good stuff. So if you want to learn about ClickUp, this is going to be a great video for you because I'm going to show you step by step all there is to ClickUp. If you appreciate that, please leave a like on the video. I'm not going to get paid to say this. I won't leave any affiliate links. So I would appreciate a like on the video. Thank you so much. The YouTube algorithm appreciates that. And now let's just get started. All right. So here we are on the home page of ClickUp. This is my home page. You can see right away that the layouts are pretty easy and pretty simple to understand. We can see my work. We can see the lineup trending and you can kind of like see the schedule for today. You can see that today is almost empty apart from the ClickUp project management video, which I'm recording right now. Now this is the home page. So if you're just signing up, you're not going to see any of this. These tasks and all of that won't show up. As soon as you start putting in tasks, you will see all of this. Now what you can do is simply add a new task on here. So you'll see the plus right there, or you can use the specific spaces and then make that show up here. So in order to explain that and show it, I do want to go to a space first. So a space is pretty much a board on Monday.com or Trello or, on, or Asana. And here they call it a space. And it looks like this. As you guys can see, this is all of the work for a specific project. For example, you can see video editing for podcast. Click up project management video, which is the one I'm making right now. Research on how to crush the competition editing the video. So in here, you'll see pretty much what's going on for a specific project. Now there are a couple of ways you can view this. You can go with list right here, which looks like this. Now this is already a pretty good layout. In my opinion, you can go with board, which then looks like this. I actually prefer the list on ClickUp. I like the board view on Trello a lot, um, which I also use, but list on ClickUp is something else. It's pretty cool. Look good. And it's, uh, it gives you a great overview. So this is the different kind of views that you can get. Now, next up, what you can do and how you can use this is that you can put in whatever you want to. So we've got the in progress bar. We've got the completed one ready in progress and to do. So for example, if you want to add a specific task in progress, what you would do is click new task. And I'm currently recording the click up to our video. So that's in progress and that's how you can add a specific task on ClickUp. So this is where you can kind of get the overview of what's going on, what needs to get done and all of that good stuff. Now what you can do is assign people to a specific task. If you click on it, you can then add them right here, click on the sign and then add an account. Now that's just me, so I can only assign me, but you can always add people to a board by simply inviting them uh, using their email and they can then enter this board so that they'll also be able to see all of it. You can add descriptions. So for example, if I want to like go in depth into what I need to show in this video, I would type in click up tour about, and then you would do like platform, oops, platform. For example, you would do features, pricing, whatever it is that you need to show, or whatever it is that fits within that specific task. So that's how you can do this. It's pretty simple. And that's also why I like ClickUp a lot. It's really simple, and really easy to work with, and you can do a lot of great stuff with this. So this right here is a space. So in terms of spaces, that is pretty much how this works. It's not that complicated. Now, if we then go back to the home page, you'll see that this is where your work will then show up because this specific task in ClickUp um, I mean, click up project management video is in the HDD space. So it's, this is a space. It will also show up on your work on your homepage so that you know that you need to do it. Now I'm recording this. So in about five up to 10 minutes, this video will be done. So I've completed this. Let's do closed. And there we go. This is now green. I know that for the rest of the day, I'm pretty much free. You can see that that was the only task that I needed to complete today. And that is how you can use ClickUp. So if you take a look at the right hand side, you'll always see your agenda. I highly, highly uh, recommend using this. You can see all of mine are empty because this is not my actual account with my actual projects because I cannot leak that stuff. But 
on here you would see all of your tasks so that is actually pretty cool in my opinion because what you'll see is your schedule for the day if you plan this you'll see that for example you start working at 9 a.m you'll see the tasks you need to do then you'll see 10 a.m and you can pretty much see and figure out what needs to get done on a specific day you can get a good overview uh, of your day pretty much which is really important if you want to be productive now apart from that there's a couple more things i want to show you for example notifications you'll see exactly um, what you've done or what you need to do or where you're tagged in or whatever it is that you're uh, like included in you'll see that right here you can show more you can add goals on ClickUp, which is pretty cool so i can set a goal for example i might want to have let's say 200k subscribers um, by the end of this year, um, I'm going to add myself, there we go, who has access, I do, and then you can do the end date. So for example, that could then be the end of 2021. So we'll do the first, yeah, there we go. That is pretty much, I picked the wrong date anyway. Well, you get the point. That's how you can do this. I'm not going to set this goal for here. Um, but next up, we've got dashboards. So if you go to your dashboard, oops, let me click right there. It will look like this. Now, once again, it's kind of like similar to the homepage where you'll see the task list, uh, task list, my bad. You can see this is a widget. You can add multiple widgets in the top right corner, and then you can add lists. You can add um, workload by status, tech blocks, a lot of stuff on here. I highly recommend checking this out. It depends on the project that you're running, whether you're gonna need this or not, but you can see all of these integrations, all of these um, things you can embed on here, and these come in handy when you're doing more advanced stuff. However, for the basics, that is pretty much how you can use ClickUp, and that's a simple ClickUp tour. If you go to the settings, you can see some other stats here, but that's not that important. You can do a dark side if you want to, that kind of looks better in my opinion, it stands out a bit more, separates two from each other. But that is pretty much how you can start using ClickUp. This is a very simple um, project management software that you can start using. I mainly use Spaces to build and like pretty much uh, put together projects such as these. Um, this is just a template, by the way, these came within a template. Um, but that is pretty much the ClickUp tour that I wanted to do. If you have any questions about this video, please let me know in the comments below. I've also made a video about how you can use this for project management specifically to go in step by step in what I do and all of that good stuff. I'll leave a link to that in the description down below if you want to check it out. Please, please, please leave a like on the video. That would help me out so much. So thank you for doing that. And then, uh, yeah, have a good day. I'll see you next time.